Climate change and environmental-related disasters are becoming more prevalent, threatening lives and livelihoods. Incidents such as floods and droughts are happening more abruptly and their intensity has increased well beyond historical norms. In our first video, we introduced nature-based solutions offered by terrestrial and marine ecosystems which are able to address social, economic, and environmental challenges such as food security, water security, climate change, biodiversity loss, disaster risk reduction, human health, and socio-economic development. We saw that nature provides so many solutions to today's challenges and plays an essential role in the global effort to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. In this episode, let's explore how NBS are meaningful to communities, economic activities, and livelihood. Look around us. The places we live in can feature NBS. Urban landscaping around us such as parks, streets, walkways, drainage, and ponds can be designed as green infrastructure to enhance societal well-being while meeting environmental needs. These forms of urban nature-based solutions can contribute towards cooling cities, mitigating floods, and providing recreational spaces for better physical and mental human health whilst also helping to conserve urban biodiversity. WWF Malaysia is working with a timber and palm oil company in Sabah who had experienced conflict with elephants. Elephants, of which there are less than 1,500 left in Sabah, had been causing damage to their crops with costs amounting to around half a million ringgit in 2012. The typical solution would be to install perimeter fences to keep elephants out, however this would also keep them from crossing to the next forest patch. Instead, with WWF Malaysia's help, the company created a wildlife corridor through their oil palm plantation connecting two forest reserves with restoration of native trees and allowing elephants through mature areas of their plantation. Now, the cost of crop damage from elephants amounts to only 5,000 ringgit annually. This project draws tourists wanting to see elephants who in turn motivate the plantation workers who are proud that their work is creating a draw. The company's international reputation also grew, allowing them to attract more buyers. Nature-based solutions are often an inherent part of communities' lives for those living in the non-urban areas. In Sarawak, WWF Malaysia is working closely with the Jagoi Heritage Forest communities to support the community's management of the natural forest and conserve the Jagoi Bidayo cultural heritage. The Jagoi Heritage Forest serves as a catchment area for nine water supply systems in the community of 11 villages. It is rich in flora and fauna and also serves as a carbon sink. Degraded habitats here are restored through planting of native trees and the extraction activities are restricted to non-timber forest products with the harvesting of fruits from several community fruit forest groves. Another nature-based solution is to restore degraded habitats. At Bukit Piton Forest Reserve in Sabah, WWF Malaysia runs a forest restoration program by planting native trees which has generated positive outcomes. The once degraded forest is now home again to a thriving population of orangutans. Added to this, the forest ecosystem services are being restored, including the ability to absorb and store more carbon. The local community also benefits from trading in seedlings, which provides local business opportunities. Nature-based solutions contribute to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals in an integrated manner by addressing people, planet, and profit coherently. We can thrive if we protect planetary health and build our economies and livelihoods harmoniously with nature. We all need to be advocates for nature-based solutions. Will you join us?